Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Kayla. I am the writer behind DonutsAndDeadlifts.com. Uh, I am a fitness blogger. I have been a fitness enthusiast for a few years now. May not look like it, but what can I say? I'm a real person. I like to drink. I like to vape. You know, tattoos. I like my tattoos and my makeup. Love it. But anyways, all right. So I wanted to basically introduce myself because I've been talking about doing a YouTube channel for a while and I just thought it was something that maybe other people would want to see. Like, I don't know. If you guys have any input as to, you know, what you wanna hear, what you don't wanna hear, um, anything, just comment, like, subscribe, let me know. But anyways, uh, I wanted to first start out with my story. So, let's see. When I turned 21, even before I turned 21, uh, but when I turned 21, I started drinking a lot, like a lot, and just finding any reason to go out and drink. Uh, then I started putting a lot of weight on. It was, it was bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure in my Facebook, you'll find lots of pictures of me, like, pretty big. Um, but those of you that don't know me, I'm only 4 foot 11 on a good day. So <laughs> every time I go to the doctor, they tell me I'm 4'10 and a half. I'm like, awesome. Anyways, getting off track. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to basically tell you, like, what I got up to and what sort of started me on this journey. I was drinking for a long time because I was actually in a miserable place, but I, after like finding my worth, and I think everybody has to do that at some point in their life, like you all have that time in your life where you're figuring everything out and for me that was hardcore my 20s um I'm now 29 hey uh but and I'll be turning 30 in July so I'm hoping to make my 30s like clean slate all new fit me I know I'm not there yet I'm probably not gonna have the perfect body ever <laughs> But that's okay. That is okay. And you know why? I'm real. I'm a real person with real feelings and, and really trying to do this in a way to show you that it is okay to not be absolutely perfect. That being said, it took me this long to do a video because I'm a perfectionist. I want everything that I do that I produce, everything that I write, everything that I ever do, I want it to be perfect. And that's why it takes me so long to ever do anything. Ugh. But anyways, so I was drinking a lot when I was like in my early 20s. Um, when I was about, I think I was 26, maybe 27, I really don't remember. Uh, anyways, I tore my right ACL for the first time. Uh, at a wedding and it was then when I was sitting on my couch um, you know trying to heal and everything I couldn't I couldn't really walk I couldn't go anywhere I had a brace all the way from my ankle to my thigh it was just ridiculous um, heavy and just annoying but uh, I just knew at that point I was almost 200 pounds on a little 4 foot 11 frame <laughs> And I didn't want to just keep gaining. I wanted to start living healthier. I wanted to be healthy and, and find that inner girl that was there a long time ago. And so I am 100% proof that it is... 80% diet and 20% physical, like the physical exercise. 
I wasn't really able to do a whole lot physically when I first started, but yet by the time I was ready to go back to work, I had already lost 30 pounds. That's insane. <laughs> um, all I did was start drinking water, like nothing but water. I actually quit drinking for three whole months. That was, that was rough, but I did it. Um, so I quit drinking, drank water. I changed one habit every week, maybe two, maybe two, like when I was first starting, just because I really wanted to kickstart it. It was all that I thought about. It was, I, I just, it was to a point where I was like, you know what, enough, enough. I am tired of being thicker. I'm tired of being a uh, curvy girl, you know, whatever. I mean, I still am. I still have my curves, which is great. You know, I am me. Like I said, I'm me. And I'm finally comfortable with that. But I was tired of having all those extra pounds. Even going up a flight of stairs was rough. And I know other people around me were seeing it. And they were also seeing how depressed I was. And I think the heavier that I got, the more miserable I got, the more I drank. And so it was, it was rough. Um, but yeah, once I really started getting into it, 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 it became such an addiction. I, I loved watching every pound drop. And because every pound counts. I mean, think about it. If you lose two pounds this week and then you keep going, okay? Say you want to lose 10 pounds. You only have eight more to go. Like, you can do it. I promise you. Um, I had, so I had water. I had uh, those other things. And then I started uh, a vitamin every day. That was another habit that I changed. And then I did a protein shake in the morning to replace my breakfast. That was just the start. Now I'm down 60 plus pounds, which is crazy. Cause I mean, you can still see I'm still pretty thick. Not that I'm, you know, crazy thick or anything like that, but I just, I have a little bit to go. I'm not quite happy with where I'm at, but I really don't have as mu as far to go as I did. And that is a great feeling. Like, I can't even tell you. I am just super ecstatic to be able to sit here today and tell you about my story. So with that being said, that's it for this video. And there will be more to come. Let me know, like I said, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to hear, what you don't want to hear, if you don't want to hear from me at all. <laughs> uh, just let me know. All right.